It's your local election headquarters. We're going to have complete coverage tomorrow of the Texas primaries and all of the key local races. Residents in parts of East El Paso and the Lower Valley will be picking a new state representative. KTSM 9 News reporter Selena Quintana here with more on the heated race in District 76. Voters will choose between former El Paso City Rep Claudia Ordaz Perez and political newcomer Elisa Tamayo, both explaining to me what makes them the best fit for the position. We have seen that our community uh, went through something very painful and we want to make sure that that doesn't ever happen again. And so we want to make sure that we talk about our community in our own terms through our stories, uh, electing people who look and talk like us that are reflective of this community. Elisa Tamayo telling me it's important to her campaign to have someone in Austin who reflects the qualities of the El Paso community. Ordaz Perez pointing to her time on city council and experience working with the state to defend the borderland. He's awesome. It's not easy. They'll literally eat you up alive. So I think it's really important that you have someone with that experience. Um, you know, I've worked with several personalities, um, people with a wide variety of backgrounds, and you need that type of, of leadership that knows how to work with both sides of the aisle. Both candidates tell KTSM that they've put in the work, knocking on doors, making phone calls, and holding events. I want to remind people to go out and vote. Tomorrow is election day and historically we have had some of the lowest voter turnouts in the state. I want to make sure we change that because we need to speak up by you know, showing up to the polls and making sure that our voices are heard. It's just really important that people ensure that their voices are heard because we need a strong voice. Um, whether it's in Austin, whether it's in D.C., we need to ensure that El Paso is at the forefront of these conversations. So really urge everyone to come out um, and, and vote. There is no Republican candidate in this race, so the winner tomorrow gets the seat. District 76 is currently represented by Cesar Blanco, who is running for the state Senate. Selena Quintana, KTSM 9 News. All right.